Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today, we're gonna to talk about what I consider a really neat looking car from 1970. None other than the Oldsmobile Rally 350. I will give you all the details about this car in a moment. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today, we're gonna to talk about our latest acquisition, something that many of us have uh, probably remember seeing perhaps, but maybe not, a 1970 Olds Rally 350. Now, I'll tell you what, that Sebring yellow paint, which they all were, is an absolute, you know, you can't miss it going down the road. Now you're gonna to wanna to watch this entire video from start to finish because we do a cold start. Boy, does this thing run nice. We do a nice walk around, give you more details of the car, and you can click on the link in the description and it'll take you right to this car on our website where it will show all the information on this car, its pricing structure, and it will also have all our, our other cars that we currently have in inventory, which is close to 100. Uh, our website being www.ellingsunmotorcars.com. So you're gonna find cars from the 1920s all the way up into 1970 and beyond. But let's get into the crux of the deal on this one, a 1970. I'll tell you what, that was probably the pinnacle of all the muscle car world. It also became the time when the insurance companies were getting a little bit more concerned about all this horsepower and performance and all that stuff, but it was really what was selling to the general public. So Oldsmobile said, you know what? We're gonna come up with an idea similar to what they did with the Judge, similar to what they did with some of the other muscle cars or whatever, but this particular one is gonna have all the looks, a little less performance under the hood, still has a 350 Olds Rocket 88 motor with you know a, a four barrel and whatever. It's still got plenty of performance, but yet it falls into the line where the insurance company said, well, we'll probably give you a little better rate than these uh, <clears throat> LS6 cars or the W30 cars, all the stuff that was much more high performance. Because everyone, when you went to the car dealerships in 1970, this is the kind of stuff people were looking for. They wanted to have the look. They wanted to have, as this, you know, the, this Rally 350 package comes with, it's got really good looks. It's got the nice striping. It's got the same similar painted front and rear bumpers. And of course, the fiberglass hood scoop with the Ram air induction. So it has some of that stuff that really gave it that performance look. Also, it also has, if you look in the back, has the rear spoiler. And like I said, just has that really good look. The, the, the wheels are painted the same color as the car. I mean, they're super stock wheels. They have added, I think on the original rallies, they perhaps didn't have the beauty rings, but boy, I'll tell you what, it really sets this car off extremely nicely. The raised letter radial tires also makes for a nice ride. Goes down the road smooth. I mean, something that we didn't have available for the most part back in that era. But yeah, the special hood. I mean, the rally came with a lot of different things that kind of set it apart from uh, some of the others. Like I said, the monochrome, the, the, the bumpers painted to match the car, painted wheels, fiberglass hood, dual exhaust. And uh, again, like I said, the 350 with the four barrel. But this car has one other extra added feature that many of these rallies did not have. And the fact is it has a four speed manual transmission. I'll talk about they, they made far less of those for whatever reason. And uh, this particular one has that M2021, actually 21 transmission in it. And it is really a nice thing. I mean, it's a fun car to drive. No ifs, ends, or buts about it. Beautiful interior, very correct. I mean, it's in very, very good condition as well. This car, however, is kind of a survivor. I just want to make it, uh, make it clear. The paint on the car is nice. I mean, the special striping and everything does show some patina as well as the bumpers and some of the yellow paint has some checking in it, whatever. Nothing serious because, you know, take a look at, like I said, that's why you want to watch the entire video when we do the walk around, you'll see that stuff. But it is a, what we consider a real one. Look at that, dual outside color matched mirrors is another one of those things, the Rally 350. And of course, 
on the back quarter panel, it makes sure to let you know that's what it is. So, you know, it's kind of one of those slowly taking off collectibles, but you know, it's, you know, it's starting to come of its own. So if you're looking to add that Oldsmobile uh, into your collection, perhaps this might be the one. But yeah, the Oldsmobiles, in my opinion, were always just a little bit more luxurious. I think they had a nicer interior. They had some other things that, as well that made them kind of stand out in the muscle car era. I mean, you no know, ifs, ends, or buts, the 442s and the Hearst Olds and whatever, all that kind of stuff. You know, it's just one of those cars I remember when I seen these. I mean, it stands out. I mean, that Sebring yellow, woo wee that's really got a, a, a real color to it. Now, you can find all of our stuff on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. You know, give us a like, leave us a comment, or subscribe. We appreciate it very much. You'll find all the information on this car, our current inventory, and as an added bonus, some of the cars we've sold over the years as well. So check out those websites and whatnot. You'll find some good entertainment and car information for you. But like I said, this is the Cutlass S. It's not the F85, so it's a little bit more luxurious, if you will, in the overall uh, you know, uh, Oldsmobile world, if you will. No, I just really think it's one of those cars that just kind of stands out in a crowd. You want something little different than what everybody else has boy i'll tell you what this is probably going to be one of those came from down south not a minnesota car i mean uh, it's just it really has that mean nasty look to it with you know the hood scoop the black and grill the dual exhaust with the trumpets you know they got the cutouts and the rear bumper for the exhaust tips to come out lots of room in the trunk for a set of golf clubs or two that's the other nice thing about some of these fuller size uh, muscle cars you can actually use them drive them enjoy them so it is kind of one of those cars that if you're looking for something, you know, that to add to your collection, but if you're like me, you probably want to come down and say, I want to get it. I want to come and look at it in person, you know? I mean, they got the sport steering wheel in there. They got the original, looks like the original AM radio. It's really kind of an unmolested car, kind of, as I said, kind of a survivor. Well, come on down to Ellingson's. We are open Monday through Friday from 10 until five and Saturdays 10 to four. So if you want to come down, look at it in person, love to have you come and visit our showroom floor. Well, like I said, close to a hundred cars, everything from muscle cars to cars out of the twenties. So if you're looking for our website, remember again, it's www.ellingsunmotorcars. And thank you again for visiting and watching our video. I think this is really a cool car. See you next time.